These episodes get long quickly. <laughs> so I just realized about that, having to worry about gravel on the way back up. And we're going to save this and go out there and take care of this annoyance. There you are, you bugger. Oh, gosh. Clever girl. <laughs> Uh, that's a little Jurassic Park reference for anyone who caught that. Go away! Um, just something that popped into my head because because of that little scenario that just played out there. Oops. Meant to truly. Whoa! Spider lag. All right. Where was I? <laughs> oh man, I'm barely gonna get this done. So uh, messing with my secondary, my builder turtle is gonna have to wait though hopefully uh, till, till next episode. Um, all right, so I'm gonna do check walls. Um, I supply the depth. Uh, okay. And I'll do a depth at a modulus of 10. And he'll report. All right, let's let's just see what I can whip up here. This is gonna be a little crazy. Um. So we'll do. Check walls, and that's the one we have to supply the depth. In this case, K up here is going to be what's updated with our depth. So we check the walls, and that'll take care of. I'm so glad I have that function. That takes care of finding any ores. Then, after that, I'm going to say turtle.dig up. Checks his fuel. Then, here is where I have to account for gravel while. Oh um, my. Because I want him to get back up here no matter what. While he cannot move up, do turtle dot dig up sleep point five again. I don't know if I need that sleep or if that sleeps too long, but it just seems like a you know a good easy number to use. Okay, so then here is where I will say if k modulus 10 equals 0, then rednet send 1 at depth k. Like that, right? And so this, <laughs> I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of nervous about this. Uh, make sure I got my fuel checks in there. I got one here, um, right before turtle up. Got a fuel check before turtle down. Well, not turtle. He does a fuel check right before he moves forward. He's only doing this forward. Um, Right here, only doing that for one block, so it's fine. The fuel the check is outside the loop. Here he does a fuel check every loop, so it should be just fine there. And this is moving to next shaft location. Um, and so then up here, he's... This is stuff I didn't touch even now, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, again, nervous. I have the print option there. I should print this out just for fun. <laughs> but let's make sure. Hold on. I should have this going. I don't have any other use for this computer right now. So then I'll start up. And it just looks blank because the console's running. Perfect. Right? Yeah, I mean, the modem's on. 
Oh, there's the little, okay. I was wondering, like, why is the little carrot icon? All right, so. I, I feel like, I mean, I know it wasn't super fast, but I feel like I rushed through my edit on this mine program a little, but I feel more confident in this edit than I do in my previous edit. Um, of course, those of you watching may have very well spotted a bug that I have not. And it would be great. Um, like maybe if I had like a live stream type situation or something that <laughs> somebody could catch those bugs over my shoulder. That would just be wonderful. You know, just for, for any everyday coding for anything. Really. If you just had someone over your shoulder watching you, it, you'd probably catch so many bugs. Just right off the bat. Um, mostly I'm just trying to check... My syntax. Oh, this is all stuff I didn't edit. That works. <laughs> what am I doing? Wasting time is what I'm doing. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go get you some fuel, sidekick. You're gonna have the good stuff now. No more of these planks. And you need. Oh, yeah, you need a smooth stone. You need some dirt. And you need some dirt for plugging holes. Um, so. Dirt, or smooth stone, dirt. Um, I'll just give you some of this, because I need torches. And then i put that one there. Okay, there. So these are his two junk items, and he fuels in the last slot. And slot 15 is what he uses to fill in holes. Oh boy. <laughs> That's um yeah, it's just if if I made an error here, uh you know, go ahead and scream at the at the video and I'm sorry I cannot hear you, but I think I'm good. I think I'm good here, which is why I'm going to go for it. Um so let me you know, I hate, I wish this did like a quick check through like uh, syntax before the whole program ran and didn't just give me the syntax errors as it arrived at each line. I've only got the up and one place. Da, 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 da. Okay. All right, we're going for it. We're going for it, sidekick. Sidekick, I bid you, I bid you good luck. Good luck, sidekick. I hope to see you soon. This is, this is the original home where he got stuck, actually. This is a little bit, I don't know if maybe this was a bad idea, bad, uh, um, Bad luck to be using the same <laughs> shaft. Um, oh, you know what? What the heck? He didn't plug the hole above him. Oh man, <laughs> this is already a bad. I, this is already a bad start. Oh gosh. Uh, let's hope that's where I made my one error. I haven't got anything. There we go. Okay, at depth ten, and so he's still going. Um, I can still see him. I don't know if he shows up on the video, actually. Sometimes these videos, they come out really dark, even though I try to put, like, plenty of torches around. He's still rotating, still digging, still getting far away. Okay. <sighs> I can't, <laughs> I can't just stare at that all, all the time. I'm gonna go crazy. Let's do some busy work. Let's, let's make some torches. And, um, oh, we had a ton of torches. Woo! More than, more than I meant, but let's go light up the the grounds. Um, what level am I at? 64. Okay, he should... Uh, oh, found some ore. Great, great. At depth 20, he refueled. That, that charcoal gives him a ton, so that's good. He's refueling correctly. He's still rotating. As long as I can make out that he's rotating, I know he hasn't crashed. All right, let's let's go busy work, busy work. Do do do. <laughs> torches, torches, torches. Oh, 
Oh, some ice over there. That's cool. Oh, here we go. Use those up. Oh, jeez, creeper. Oh, boy. That's the last thing I need. All right. And getting into the jungle a little here, but never hurts to have torches, torches, tor... Oh, a cat. Scared me out of the corner of my eye there. All right, let's go check our console. See how, uh... Found ore at depth 42, 43. Oh, that's a good depth. Oh, 44. Nice. So I can tell he's still running. I guess it's... Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm assuming you can see that. This is... Oh, my gosh. Oh, sidekick. Oh, sidekick, please work. This has just gotten way more stressful. At depth 50. He's getting down there. Oh, boy. And I, I would go on to go look down the hole, but he went into the lava. He's in the lava. <laughs> I know turtles can survive lava just fine. It doesn't bother them in the least. But this is like... Oh, I found ore at depth 60. Oh, that's... Moving to the next shaft location. Mm. Okay. Oh, can I, can I see him? No, I think he was... He was way below that already. Um, returning to surface. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. There's like so little code left. And... Oh my gosh, I think it worked. <laughs> I just have the one bug that he didn't plug his entrance hole, which I will now plug so that I don't fall into a pit of lava. Um, but he should be coming up right here um right right here this this square i'm listening for you sidekick depth 50 so he's he's making his way up um and this where he found ore at depth 60 i'm really hopeful that that's diamond it could be redstone or lapis or stuff like that though but still all all oh, it's all good it's all good oh man this is like kind of the big nerve-wracking test Ugh. I have, I have my little builder buddy here. And, yeah, I'll call him buddy. Oh, come on. It's taken so long. Mm. Oh, Depth 40. He's still running. Excellent. I should make that every 5 instead of 10. That takes a long time for him to go. But then he would be spamming the console quite a bit. And he should refuel fairly soon, I think. Uh, he'll refuel about the time he gets back to the surface, actually. I don't hear him yet. He's still pretty far down there, I guess. Okay, so. Um, and we've got quite a bit of cobble for building materials. So I, I'm thinking of... I used all my charcoal on it. All right, build, make more. Um, so I'm thinking I'll use cobblestone to build like a wall. Oh, there we go. He fueled at depth 25-ish. He's still on the way. He's finding ore. This is going really well. Still don't hear him. I'm sorry. I'm I'm being really quiet. I'm trying to listen for his digging. Depth twenty. I'll probably have to wait until he's more like ten. And these depths are. I should. Um. Well, I mean, once I have the GPS stuff, then I can probably have it reflect actual depth, and that would be. I hear him. 
Do you hear him? Is he finding a bunch of ore? Come on, sidekick. I want to see what you got. Oh, man. He made the, the long journey. I make sure he's in the right spot, actually, too. Now that I think of it. I mean, it would be really crazy if I screwed that up, but... There he is! He's checking the walls! Sidekick, you've returned! Oh. Okay, so... Couple of very small bugs. Um... No, iron... Coal... What were you finding down at level... Was it like coal or something? Coal or iron? Oh my gosh. Well, I'm, I'm talking about when he found stuff, found ore at depth 60. I mean, I'm at 64, so that's like practically between the little, you know, scraggly bedrock chunks. Okay, so, a couple of bugs, but no major ones. Oh, which is so good. Um, first of all, I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom. Wait, my page down works now, doesn't it? Um, or it's not this, it's this loop. From depth to zero should be from depth to one. Because he went, came back up one too high. So I'm just going to do that depth to depth one. And then the other one is back at the beginning where I changed some stuff right here. Um, select 15 to that place up. Did he not like that? It is place up, right? Turtle place up. Hmm. That's odd. I feel like he should have filled his entrance hole. There wasn't any weirdness with that, was there? Hmm. Very strange. But... This, uh, come on, what? There we go. Um, this is well enough. I'm gonna leave, leave well enough for now and say thanks very much for watching ep this episode of the Computer Craft Challenge. Um, I'm having a really good time. That was another stressful mining episode, but, um, I also got my, my secondary turtle, my little, um, I'm thinking my, I might name him Builder Buddy. That seems pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's that's tentatively the name. Uh, so a sidekick here had a successful mining run, which is really nerve wracking every single time. <laughs> it's just crazy to to have him, you know, disappearing. But so um, it was successful. I totally lucked out. No no debilitating bugs. He went. He even went down through that lava pool and came back. I kind of want to move move one space there. Sidekick. Let me let me just take a quick peek here. Is that? Yeah, that's all lava down there. So he is definitely mining stuff that otherwise uh, would not mine. That is way too much of a hassle to ever you know mine on my own. Um, but with that, I will say thank you for watching. If you're enjoying the series. Please subscribe to my channel. I will continue to have more episodes of this. And also, if you are liking it and do like the videos, that helps me out. It gets this stuff even more visibility and is just helpful to make me want to make even more computer craft content. So if you want to see computer craft, like. Um, also check out my other stuff. Um, the Bricks and Sticks Tech It series is, is moving definitely into the computer craft area. I can definitely say in the next few episodes that um, I've actually uh, recorded working on just some minor editing. So I can say definitively that it's in there. Um, thanks very much, and I will see you all next time.